Stash Busters. This takes about 15 minutes. You're going to love it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today is Stash Buster Day. I'm going to show you my new design which is a Mobius Twist Ice Cream Pint Cozy Cozy. Isn't that cute? It's got a little twist in the front. It's really fast, really easy. Probably take you about 15 minutes to throw this one together. And you can make a whole bunch of them in every different color. And I'm using 100% cotton yarn. Today I'm going to use Lily Sugar and Cream and a five millimeter hook that it calls for but I would use a five no matter what I'm doing so we are going to start out with a slip knot and we're gonna chain 30 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and on my little trick so that I don't get it twisted I'm just gonna take this bottom end and go right through my first chain and continue. So there's 11. Right there's our chain of 30. My first chain and my last chain are both on my hook. I'm going to mark this one really quick because we want to get back in there in just a second. Pull our last chain through our first chain and chain one. Now you have the perfect circle here that is not twisted. So that is awesome. What we're going to do is single, single crochets all the way around. So we're going to do 30 of them. Starting here at our hook. One. Single crochets all the way around. Here's my last one. And now to get the twisty part. See? Just single crochets all the way around. Very, very easy peasy. But now to get the twisty part, this was our first stitch. We want to turn it over do a 180 degree twist. Boom. Right here. And now we want to single crochet around the other side. Down the other side of your chain. So you're working in every one of your original chains twice. There's one. And we want to do that single crochets all the way around again. Easy peasy. I just have a few stitches left in this round of single crochets and then we're going to change up our stitch. But it's not a hard stitch, so that's easy. Easy peasy. So remember we started here and we ended down here. So we have one round on both sides of our chain. The chain is in the middle, tucked in the middle right here. So now I'm going to do three rounds of a Suzette stitch, which everybody knows is one of my favorite stitches. It just gives a little bit of texture and it's really easy and really fast. So the way we do a Suzette is a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch and then we skip the next stitch single, double, and skip. Single, and a double, and skip. All the way around. And now we're halfway around. I forgot to move my stitch marker, so I'm going to take them out. But we're halfway around. We've done one side of our original chain and we're going to keep following these single crochets until we get back to the very beginning. So it ends up being 60 stitches instead of the original 30 because we worked two stitches into each chain, one on either side. It's a good way to practice your Mobius before you take on any really big project. It's a good way to practice making that 180 degree twist, which is really easy, but the first time you try it, you go, oh, I hope I'm doing this right because I have so many stitches invested. This is a good way to do it, even if you have to frog it out because you missed a stitch. It's okay. It will only take a couple minutes. And I have my last couple of Suzettes. Here. So it's a skip, there's a single and a double, 
in the same stitch. Now your very last stitch should be a should be skipped. It would be the skip chain, and then we're going to work into this next one, which was the first stitch of our whole round of Suzettes. So we're going to do another round of Suzette again. So there's a single crochet. I forgot to mark it the first time, so that's crazy. I'm going to mark it this time. So there's a single and a double in that first stitch. This is round number two of our Suzette. We're going to follow this all the way around in a twist until we get back to our stitch marker. There's my last Suzette stitch in, whoopsie, my last Suzette stitch in round two. And we're going to keep right on going. Another round of Suzette. And my last couple stitches. We're almost done. There's a single and a double in the same stitch. We're going to skip this one and our mark stitch is just going to get a slip stitch and we're going to finish off. And he's done! Alright, so all you have left to do is to weave in your ends right here. Any way you want. Tuck them on the inside. Let's see we have a little twist. Isn't that cute? And cotton is nice. It's a little bit stretchy. So it should fit just about any ice cream. This is my favorite one. Caramel cone. That's my favorite one. So now you can have your ice cream without the little box sweating because it's almost summer. Isn't that cute? So you make a bunch of these. Stash Buster. You can get rid of all those itty bitty little things of cotton yarn that you just don't know what to do with. Again, this took about 12-15 minutes. Super fast. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and turn on notifications so you can see what fun I have coming up soon. Thanks. Bye.